Hey there, and welcome back to the Law Office of Brian Fagan's YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to try to take a deep dive into the Texas Child Support System. If you're a parent dealing with child support issues or just want to understand the process better, you're in the right place. Stick around because we'll not only discuss the basic guidelines for calculating child support in Texas, but also cover important topics like deviations from the guidelines, modifications to child support orders, and even the impact of multiple families on child support calculations. By the end of this video, you'll be well versed in the Texas child support system. The primary goal of child support is to ensure both parents contribute financially to their child's upbringing. Texas has specific guidelines for calculating child support, which we will talk about shortly. However, it's important to know navigating the Texas child support system isn't always a walk in the park. There can be challenges, such as determining a parent's income, particularly if that person is self-employed or has irregular earnings. Also, the calculations become more complex if a parent has children from multiple relationships. Now let's dive into how child support is calculated in Texas. The process is based on a percentage of the non-custodial parent's monthly net resources up to a certain cap that adjust periodically for inflation. Here are the basic guidelines. 20% for one child, 25% for two children, 30% for three, 35% for four children, 40% for five children, and not less than 40% for six or more kids. But remember, these are just guidelines and the court can deviate from them if it's in the best interest of the child. Before we continue, let's talk about the various factors that can complicate child support payments in Texas. The first one is income calculation. Texas uses a parent's net income rather than gross income to calculate child support payments. This means that taxes, social security, and health insurance premiums are deducted from the parent's earnings before applying the child support percentages. Another factor that can complicate matters is the non-custodial parent's responsibility to other children. Texas has multiple family adjusted guidelines which takes into account the financial obligations towards children not before the court. This means the child support percentage can be adjusted if a parent has other children they're supporting. One common question a lot of parents have is, when does child support end in Texas? The general rule is child support ends when a child turns 18 or graduates from high school, whichever occurs later. However, if the child has a disability, child support can continue indefinitely. What about deviations from the child support guidelines? In certain circumstances, the court can lower or raise child support amounts than the guidelines suggest. This can happen if a parent has a very high income, the child has special needs, or there are other factors the court believes warrants a deviation. In Texas, you can petition the court for a modification if there has been a significant change in circumstances since the prior order was issued. This could be an increase or decrease in income, a change in the child's needs or expenses, or a change in the custody arrangement. The Texas Attorney General's Child Support Division offers assistance and there are online resources and legal professionals available to help you understand the process and advocate for your child's best interest. You can also find an online child support calculator they can give you a rough estimate of your child support obligation based on Texas guidelines. And don't forget, if you're unsure about any aspect of the child support process, seeking the help of an experienced family law attorney like us here at the Law Office of Brian Fagan can make a world of difference. We will guide you through the complexities of the system and ensure your child's best interests are protected. There you have it, our detailed guide to the Texas child support system. We hope this information has been helpful and has given you a better understanding of this complex topic. From all of us here at the Law Office of Brian Fagan, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope it was both helpful and informative for you. At the Law Office of Brian Fagan, we are here for you. So please let us know how we can help you with your family law, estate planning, or criminal defense matters by calling our office today at 281-310 
5563 to schedule your complimentary consultation. You can find all of our social media info in the description below. And if you would like to stay updated on all of our videos, events, and promotions, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the notification bell.